everyone welcome back uh we were discussing determinants in our previous class today uh we will uh, continue it and we get to know the further points in our previous class we have discussed uh, article possessive adjectives adjective of number and quantifiers it is three points we will discuss today okay first point is which is uh, fifth point interrogative adjectives and examples are what which etc okay these are interrogative adjectives which we use as determiners we will check it we will get to know through the examples like if i say which class do you read in here class is a noun and which is coming just before it that's why it will be determiner okay but if i say which one is your book here which is coming but one is not a noun one is what it is as number of uh, adjective number of it is adjective of number okay so in this case which will not be a determiner it will be what pronoun okay interrogative pronoun because it is coming in the place of a book so there is very minor difference between interrogative pronoun and interrogative adjective when the word is interrogative adjective means if it is coming before a noun then it will be known as determiners otherwise it will be known as interrogative pronoun only okay let's take another example if i say what are you doing and what where is no let's take another example talk about this first what are you doing here what is what interrogative word okay but are is a verb it's not a noun so this won't be determiners it will be what interrogative pronoun okay but if i say uh what work will you do what work will you do right here work is a noun and what is a determiner clear our next point is demonstrative adjectives which are also a part of a kind of determiner what are the examples of demonstrative adjective that is this that 
these and those. These four are examples of demonstrative adjective. Demonstrative means indicate something. Through these words, either this or that or these or those, we indicate someone or something. That's why it is known as demonstrative adjective. Okay? Let's take examples. If I say this pen is mine. Right? Here, pen is a noun. Okay? And it is coming after this word, this demonstrative adjective. So this demonstrative adjective will be known as determiner. But if I say this is my pen. Hindi meaning of these two sentences is same. Sense of these two sentences are same. Ki ya kalam meri hai. Whether I say this pen is mine or I say this is my pen. Sense is same. Ki hain mein ya kalam meri hai. But there is a difference between these two sentences. Because here noun pen is coming just after the inter uh, demonstrative adjective. And that's why this demonstrative adjective will be known as determiner. And here this is followed by is which is verb. This is is not a noun. And that's why it will be known as demonstrative pronoun. Clear? Again and again I'm saying it, there is difference between demonstrative adjective and demonstrative pronoun. Difference between interrogative adjective and interrogative pronoun. Difference between um, let's say distributive adjective and distributive pronoun and all. It is just the matter of place. You wear which place it is coming on. If it is coming before a noun, it will be for sure an adjective. And it is coming on the place of a noun, it will be known as pronoun. Next point is distributive adjective. Examples are each, every, either, neither, etc. Okay? These are distributive adjectives. If it comes, any of it comes before a noun, it will be known as temp, uh, distributive adjective and finally determiners. If it comes before uh, a verb or in the place of a noun, it will be known as distributive pronoun not distributive adjective and determiners are only those words which are adjectives which uh, we will uh, get to know just uh, after finishing these all points I will tell you uh, what is uh, the difference between determiners and adjectives first get to know this let's take an example if I say either way is safe. Here, way is a noun and that's why this will be a determiner. Okay? But if I say either way is safe Either of the ways is safe. Sense of these two sentences is clear. Same here. We have to say that there is no way to go. Safe, safe, safe. But here, a noun is coming just after this word, either, which is demonstrative, adjective. And finally, it will be a determiner. But here, it is not. Here. This is not a noun. 
either word, this word is not followed by a noun and that's why it will be known as demonst uh, distributive pronoun. It will not be a demonst uh, determiner or a demonstrative adjective. So there is a difference between adjective and pronoun. When it is coming before a noun, it will be an adjective and that's why finally a determiner. But when it is coming on the place of a noun or it is being used for a noun, it will be known as demonstrative pronoun and that's why it won't be a determiner. Clear? Now we will get, uh, we will know, I will tell you what is the difference between adjective and determiners because uh, in modern grammar we divide adjectives in two parts. First one is adjective and another one is determiner. So the adjectives which change its form is called adjective. Means this adjective ka this word ko degrees mein hum baant sake, jis ka form change ho sake, positive degree, comparative degree, superlative degree, wo sare words adjective honge. And adjective which does not change its form is known as determiner. Okay. वह adjective जिसका अपना form change नहीं होता, वो उसी form में रहता है, वो सारे words determiners कहलाते हैं. Adjectives को दो part में, modern grammar में, ancient grammar में, we used to uh, know all these ad adjectives only. But in modern grammar, uh, grammarian, grammarians have uh, divided it into two parts, adjective and determiners. The adjectives which change its form is called adjectives, they remain adjectives only. And the adjectives which change its form is classified as determiners. Okay? Example, we have seen in the words like uh, my, your, or uh, a, and the, which, what, either, neither. All these words are demos, uh, determiners because they do not change their form. But if I say beautiful, It is also an adjective, but it can change its form. Degrees, we can, uh, uh, we know that it can change its form in degrees. Beautiful, then more beautiful, and then most beautiful, and all. Okay, so this won't be a determiner. Though this is an adjective, but it can't be a determiner. Because it changes its form. So this is basic difference between adjective and determiner. Another difference is a determiner always comes before a noun. It can't come after a noun. But on, other, on the other hand, an adjective comes either before a noun or after a noun, right? So this is another difference determiner cannot come after a noun. It will always come before a noun because determiners are those words which determine arrival of noun. Jaisi hi koi ek determiner aega, it will make sure we will know that a noun is on the way. A noun is coming after it. But it's not, uh, you know, applicable with adjective. 
adjective uh, can be come before a noun or it can come after a noun as well. So this is all about determiners. Now we know what is determiner. Now we know kind of determiners. Now we know what is the difference between an adjective and what uh, and uh, determiner. Right. So that's all for the day. And uh, in another class we will discuss about some another topic which is uh, according to your uh, syllabus. Right. Thank you very much guys.